Hey everybody, Dick Davis at Texas Discovery Gardens here at Dallas Fair Park. You know, a lot of you may be saying to yourselves, he must be a really smart guy. Probably knows a lot about entomology and horticulture. Well, I'm gonna let you keep thinking that. But this guy, John Watts, he really is a world-class entomologist, and we're lucky to have him here to run our butterfly house. John, tell us about everybody's favorite butterfly. Why, thanks, Dick. Well, that would be the monarch butterfly, which also happens to be the state butterfly of Texas. One of the most thoroughly studied of butterflies is the monarch butterfly. Monarchs are the only known species that has a two-way migration of up to 3,000 miles. The monarch ranges from southern Canada, south throughout the U.S., and then south through much of Latin America. Males are bright orange and have a raised black spot on the hind wing called an androconial patch. The ancestral function of this patch is to hold a pheromone used in courtship. Females lack the androconial spot and a duller orange with thicker, darker veining. Female monarchs lay their ova or eggs on milkweed plants. The caterpillar is distinctly patterned in black, white, and yellow stripes and possesses two pairs of fleshy tentacles, one near the head and the other near the tail end. The larval stage lasts about three weeks. It will molt four times before the final molt into the pupal stage. The chrysalis is jade green with a black and metallic gold band plus numerous gold spots. The pupal stage lasts about two weeks. Most generations of monarchs live on average about a month, but the migratory generation can survive for up to nine months. Threats to monarchs include deforestation of the overwintering sites in Mexico and the widespread use of herbicides to kill weeds and crops. Unfortunately, it will also kill milkweeds, the only host plant on which monarch caterpillars can breed. You can help monarchs by planting both milkweeds for the larvae and nectar plants such as frostweed for the adults. It is especially critical that the butterfly have nectar plants waiting for them when they migrate south in the fall. Thanks, John, and that was great, and I appreciate that little bit of butterfly trivia about the monarch being the state insect of Texas. And because you told us that, uh, by the power invested in me as executive director of the Texas Discovery Gardens, and because I've had my picture made with three governors, I'm going to bestow upon you this official State of Texas proclamation that names you the state entomologist. Why, thank you, Dick. I'll cherish this forever. Well, great. Just don't show it to anybody. <laughs> Hey John, why didn't you tell them about butterflies having tasty feet? That's because butterflies don't have tasty feet, Dick. They taste with their feet. Oh, I knew that.